With Troba Level, you can quickly and easily install self-supporting tile pavers in exterior applications. A small number of components can be combined in various configurations to allow for the flush installation of adjacent tile pavers and produce level surfaces over sloped substrates. Open joints allow water to quickly drain through the assembly and eliminate the risk of freeze and thaw damage. The elevated assembly also allows for quick and easy access to the waterproofing or drainage systems below. The system can accommodate different paver thicknesses while maintaining flush transitions across the surface of the assembly. The system components can be classified into three categories. Pedestals, height extensions, and accessories. Let's take a look at how the Trober Level system works. The Schluter Trober Level system and all other installation materials must be installed in accordance with Schluter System's written installation requirements, all applicable building codes and tile manufacturer's installation instructions. All substrates must be structurally sound and capable of supporting the anticipated loads. The Trober Level System can compensate for a substrate slope of up to 10%. Start the paver installation at the highest point of the substrate. For installations at edges or in corners, Trober Level PL10 paver supports can be cut into halves and quarters. Score the paver support with a utility knife and bend to snap in half. Use a level to determine the number of Trober Level AP1 leveling shims required to bring the paver to the desired height. The maximum number of shims that can be stacked is 10. Trober level PL10 paver supports positioned away from the perimeter can be stacked with a 90 degree offset if needed to obtain the desired height. When stacking halves of Trober level PL10 at the perimeter, first determine how they fit together prior to cutting. Pay close attention to the 90 degree offset of each consecutive paver support to ensure that a spacer tab remains between the paver tile and the perimeter structure or wall. Again, use a level to determine the number of shims required to bring the paver to the desired height. The minimum tile paver width is 85 mm when using Trober Level PL10. For an assembly height of 50 mm or greater, Trober Level PLA30 extensions can be used between two Trober Level PL10 paver supports. For assembly heights of 60 mm, Trober Level PLV60 adjustable paver supports can be used. For installations at edges or in corners, cut the Trober Level PLV60 base plate at one of the pre-marked lines on the underside and fold the corresponding wall spacer to the upright position. This will allow the support to be positioned closer to the wall. Remove any unnecessary joint spacer tabs by tapping sideways with a hammer. Use the levelling shims as required. For assembly heights of 130mm to 1030mm, Trober Level PLA70 extensions can be inserted within the Trober Level PLV60. Completely screw the extensions into the Trober Level PLV60 base plate or into each other when multiple Trober Level PLA70 extensions are required. For additional protection of a waterproofing layer, such as a roofing membrane, Trober Level PLS6 protective pads can be installed under the base plates of Trober Level PLV60, Trober Level PL10 or Trober Level LV3 paver supports. For PVC membranes, the aluminium side of the pad is installed face down. The four perforated tabs can be lifted over the edge of the pedestal to maintain the position on the pad. Trober Level PL10 paver supports must be placed in the centre of the pads when used or used in combination with Trober Level LV3. A range of solutions are available for exposed edges within the Schluter Barra range. The Trober Level system is the perfect solution to transform your exterior living space into the balcony, patio or rooftop terrace of your dreams.